Hi, everybody. Welcome to yet another episode of HSP TV. Today is the 48th episode, and today I want to talk to you about procrastination and why we procrastinate. If you're a procrastinator, then you've probably asked yourself at some point, why do I procrastinate? And why do I keep procrastinating even though I know that it is bad for me? These are important and crucial questions to ask yourself, and it is also important to find the answers to that. So that is what I'm going to talk to you about today. If you're joining me live, then wave at me, type in your name, and I'll give you a shout out like Gnome. Hi Gnome, nice of you to join. And if you are watching this in the replay, I would love it if you could type in hashtag replay so that I know that you saw this episode at a later date. So what is procrastination? Well, procrastination is the act of unnecessarily postponing decisions and actions. The next logical question is, why do we procrastinate? And there are five top reasons for procrastinating. The first reason is anxiety. If we are feeling anxious, then we have trouble concentrating, we have trouble focusing, and that can cause us to procrastinate, to postpone things, to postpone decisions, and to postpone actions. The second is the fear of failure. And that is a fear that most of us have had at one point or another. And this, what it sounds like it is, it is the fear of failing, the fear of um, not being good enough or the fear of not um, act, uh, living up to people's expectations, the fears of failing. And one could argue that procrastinating is already failing because you are failing to do something. That is an interesting thought. One I would like you to think about a little bit more. The third reason for procrastinating is excessive perfectionism. And especially we, as highly sensitive people, uh, need to be really aware of it because we are perfectionists and we can, can we tend to get we tend to get caught up in our perfectionism. We want to do things not just good, but perfect. And we want other people to count on us. And um, if we are not careful, then this also means that we can get stuck in one task and then we postpone doing all the other tasks because we still feel that this task isn't done satisfactory, even though it's done by specifications and um, maybe even your client or your boss is happy with the result and still you cannot let go and still you keep on working on it because to you it is still not perfect so that is also one of the top five reasons of procrastinating and if you are watching this either live or in the replay and you recognize yourself in one of these five points I would absolutely love it if you could type in hashtag and then the number of the reason for procrastination that you recognize for yourself so the first was anxiety the second was fear of failure, and the third was excessive perfectionism. The fourth is low energy levels, because when we have low energy levels, things, all things become much harder. It's much harder to come up with the motivation to do things. We just want to do nothing, and that is a big reason why we procrastinate. Hi, go Dolly, go Dolly Clark. <laughs> I wanted to connect your two names but it's better when they are separate nice of you to join glad to see you and so low energy levels also um, make us procrastinate because we simply lack the energy to do stuff hi cube steve nice of you to join and the fifth reason is lack of focus when we are scatterbrained and we are all over with our thoughts then it is also really hard to focus and to concentrate and this can also be one of the biggest reasons for procrastination so again if you recognize yourself in any of these five reasons um i would love it if you could type in hashtag and then the number of the reason you recognize for yourself as a reason for procrastination and the first the first is anxiety. The second is the fear of failure. The third is excessive perfectionism. The fourth is low energy levels. And the fifth is a lack of focus. So what happens when we 
procrastinate. When we need to get things done, we primarily rely on self-control to, to bring ourselves to do it. So we rely on the control we have over ourselves to actually do the tasks or to actually make this, the decision. And this self-control, it receives support from our motivation. And this ensures that we take the decision or do the action in a timely manner. So self-control is assisted by motivation in order to get us to do things in a timely manner. But sometimes demotivating factors arise. And these are the top five reasons for procrastination. So a demotivating factor can be anxiety or the fear of failure, excessive perfectionism, low energy levels, or a lack of focus. And this hinders us from exerting our self-control uh, of actually doing the action or making the decision. And there are also some other hindering factors that can play a role in procrastination. And one of them could be mental exhaustion. So not only low energy levels, but also that your mind is just done. There's no way to focus, no way to concentrate. Um, it's just it's running on empty. And this can be a hindering factor. Uh, another hindering factor can also be that there are no um, short-term rewards for your action so let's say uh, you need to do the laundry then you know the moment you've done the laundry then you'll have clean clothes to wear this can be a motivation um, to take the self-control action to do your laundry but if you need to what would be a good example if you need to make the decision if you want to change um, your um, energy supplier, for instance. I don't know how it is for you, where you live, but here in Holland, every year or so, we get asked to choose if we want to stay with our energy supplier or if we want to go to another one. And they usually ask this a long term in advance. And they say that you can save money, but you won't notice it straight away because you're still connected to your old supplier. So making the decision to switch energy suppliers has a reward in the long term because it could be months before you get the lower payment or the money back or whatever um, gift they want to give you for changing suppliers and this can also cause a lack of motivation and thus we cannot exert self-control and bring us to make the decision or to take the action and so both the hindering factors and the demotivating factors, they interfere with our self-control and with our motivation. So when there are too many demoting, demoting factors or too many hindering factors, this makes it so that our self-control goes down and our motivation goes down and we procrastinate. And this can either be indefinitely or it can last until new balance is restored and we find a new splurge of motivation or a renewed energy um, or um, the anxiety or our fears have subsided um, and, the, and a decrease in demotivating factors which shifts the balance and makes it so that we are finally able to motivate, ourself, motivate ourselves enough to actually make the decision or take the action. So that is the mechanism in short how um, taking action and making decisions work and how procrastination works, why we procrastinate and what procrastination is. So, this was what I wanted to share with you today because I see in my practice uh, a lot of people who have issues with procrastination, with postponing their actions, with postponing their tasks. Um, and I wanted to let you know that first off, you're not the only one. There are a lot of people who have issues in this area. And secondly, I wanted to uh, teach you the mechanism of how it works so that you um, can recognize for yourself which uh, demoting factors play a role in your life. And again, if you recognize them, I would love it if you could let me know by typing in hashtag and then the number of the reason that you recognize. And the top five reasons for procrastination and the demoting factors is first off, anxiety. Second off, uh, fear of failure. 
third of excessive perfectionism, fourth of low energy levels, and the fifth is a lack of focus. And Noam makes a very good point. He says he recognizes all of the above. This is also, of course, possible. Um, they can uh, coincide, but they can also uh, occur separately at different moments in your life. Uh, and he also says that depression plays a role. And you're correct. Uh, depression also plays a role um, when we procrastinate because when we are not happy and we, it, it, it immediately infects uh, affects our motivation and when we are depressed um, it can be that we have low energy levels it's not necessary but it usually comes also with low energy levels but definitely with a decrease in motivation um, because you're not depressed for nothing and when motivation goes down procrastination goes up and it's really hard to get yourself to do stuff when you're depressed so it is always a good idea to find someone to help you get out of your depression or to get over your depression uh, or however you will like to call it. Um, because depression is not our natural state and it hinders you from um, making the decisions needed or take the actions needed to change that in your life and to become happy again. So thank you, Noam, for that addition. It's a really good uh, addition and uh, an important thing to note as well. So if you're watching this in the replay, I would love it if you could type in hashtag replay. And if you have a question or a topic that you would like me to talk about in next week's session, I would uh, love it if you come and ask it live in the session, uh, in the broadcast, like um, Noam is doing now. But you can also email me at info at two, the number, beinbalance.com. The email address will also be in the comment section. Uh, and who knows? Your question or your topic could be next week's subject of next week's episode. HSP TV is here every Monday at 7.30 in the evening. And I hope to see all of you again next week for next week's broadcast. Thank you and have a really, really lovely evening today. Bye.